In Jamaica, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, in collaboration with the Jamaica 4-H Clubs, is supporting 12 schools to rehabilitate their school gardens. Under the homegrown school feeding program, school meal programs have been linked to local food production. Schools under the program are benefiting from a range of irrigation and production kits and technical guidance to maintain their school gardens. These gardens are a source of fresh fruits and vegetables that help to meet the food and nutrition needs of students. Since the onset of COVID-19, as many schools have remained closed and students have not benefited from the provision of school meals, schools like Newell High School in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, continue to ensure that their school gardens remain active and can provide students and communities with much-needed local produce. FAO and the Jamaica 4-H Clubs are helping some of these schools to ensure that students and community members remain food secure and are able to access locally grown food to promote healthier diets. By rehabilitating and maintaining school gardens, we are helping to create a more inclusive and resilient agri-food system so that we can have better production, better nutrition, a better environment and a better life for all. My name is Audrey Ellington, principal of the Newell High School in Southwest St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. In our school garden, we grow mainly vegetables. Um, we have callaloo, corn, pak choy, sweet pepper, hot pepper. We also do escalion, and at times we do cabbage and beetroot. Before COVID, for our school garden, the students would have gotten the chickens to eat. We, at one time, we also had layers, and so that assisted in our breakfast program, where we usually produce breakfast in the mornings for our students. And on the farm, we also have plantain, and so the plantain was also used for our breakfast program. Since COVID, we have scaled down because the students are not here. But whatever we produce now, community members would purchase, and when teachers come in from time to time, they would also purchase these things. We have not put in back any chickens since COVID, except for when we had students coming back for SBA, then we had to do a batch of birds. And of course, we sold those to community members. But before that last Christmas, December, we also did packages for our students, and so they also got chickens and whatever else we had on the farm at that time. So whatever we earned, as much as is possible, we used it back on the farm and some goes into our cash reserve. So with the support from FAO and 4-H under the Homegrown Agricultural Program, we have benefited from a thousand gallon black drum and fittings and drip holes. This has helped us immensely because where we are located in Southwest St. Elizabeth, it is rather on the dry plains of St. Elizabeth. So you came this afternoon, we got rains and we're grateful for that. But under the normal circumstances, the times are very dry and hot. And so with the assistance where we can just fill our drum turn it on to water when we want to, when we have our seedlings planted, it will ensure that we have vegetables at all times. Our students are from the lower socioeconomic families and they usually depend on us for food. Five days per week, we usually cook for them. And we know that if we have it from our farm, we can take it to them we know where to find them. Mm -hmm.